Hey there, this is Eli with Fortress Security Store, and this is our SO2 GSM vibration sensor. Uh, first thing that we'll go over is the dimensions on the back here. Um, width of the transmitter side, it's the picture on the top here, is 1.38 inches across. Height is 2.76 inches, and the depth is 0.67 inches. Uh, and the sensor part is... Um, with a length this direction of 0.9 inches and a height this direction of 0.83 inches. And the contents of this package are the vibration sensor, of course, some 3M sticky tape for installation and a battery. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, here is the tape. Um, and how to use this, it, there's a piece of paper that you can peel off here. Um, and then there's the adhesive underneath. Peel the paper off, stick it to the back side of this transmitter, place it on the wall wherever you want to put it, door frame, window frame, doesn't really matter. Um, the only thing that I would look out for is mounting this on metal. Um, transmission can get cut way down or it won't be able to send a signal at all if it's on metal. So uh, that's the, that's the um, same with any of the, our, our transmitters. Um, just avoid putting it on metal. If you do need to, you can always put a spacer in between those to, um, just to get it off the metal a little bit. What's also important to note is the direction to mount the transmitter side. If you mount it like this, um, the part that the, the piece on the inside that vibrates back and forth is always going to be stuck in the down position, just always, and that will do one of two things. Either it'll trigger the, your alarm all the time, or it won't trigger the alarm at all. Um, so you need to have it mounted horizontal to the floor, floor you know, parallel. Um, and that's probably the, the biggest issue that we have with the vibration sensor, just make sure that you have it mounted parallel with the floor, otherwise it's not going to work correctly. Now to go over battery really quick here, let me pop the back plate off. So to get in there, um, you can use your fingernail. If it's too tight, you can use a, a screwdriver, and you'll notice here there's a little notched, notched out spot, um, and then also on this uh, back plate, mounting plate, there's a little knob right here. Um, it's where you'll put your fingernail in, pry it off, or screwdriver, or whatever you want to do. Um, and inside here is just an internal antenna, um, circuitry, you don't really need to mess with anything inside here other than the battery. And this takes a 23A battery. You can get these on our website, any electronic store, um, place it in there. And you'll know the battery's going dead by if this bottom red LED light comes on and stays on. Um, that's a, that's the sure indicator that the battery's going bad. This the top LED light will illuminate every time that this sensor is triggered, and that's how you know that the signal is being sent. So if I shake it like this, just a little bit, and it's it's pretty sensitive. So um, you know you can you can mount this piece directly on the door, on the door frame or window, whatever the case may be, um, and it'll still pick it up. Um, as far as mounting range from the main panel, you can have this about 150 feet from the main panel, usually a safe bet through walls and everything. Um, un unobstructed usually is up to about 250 feet range, but 150 feet is usually safe parameters to stay within. If you do need more range than that, we have a signal repeater that will boost the signal to about 500 feet. Um, so if you're interested in one of those, you can always pick one of those up on our store as well. Uh, and the last thing that I forgot to mention was battery life of these batteries will last about one year on average. Um, so do check your check your motion or check your um, LED lights frequently. Make sure that the battery is still good. And uh, this has been the SO2 GSM vibration sensor.